water is the base of all life, and it offers challenges that you can't believe. And in making the water right for people, it's a humanitarian thing. Good morning, water rights, Heather. I had a one-bedroom home that had a coal-burning furnace and a garage. And I started building water softeners in my garage. And my wife was putting them together. I remember Kurt was a baby, and she'd throw him a cookie and a hamper <laughs> and build the equipment while I was out trying to pedal it. The first biggest expenditure I ever made is I bought a 310 Cessna. I made the whole circuit through five distributors in one week which would have taken me three weeks to do without the airplane. Whiskey Romeo, WR means water right. Being part of the, the, the water right business back in the early years, we, you know, we were never given allowance. We were given the opportunity to work. We saw the passion in my father, and that was kind of instilled on us, and we kind of took the, the torch, if you will, and carried that, carried that passion along. Yeah, that's a nice job. You're going to see the, the service, a breadth of equipment that is unparalleled by our competition. But more importantly, I think it's just the, the, the family feel. It is. All my life, I've wanted to find good people in the industry. And if you have good people to work with, you'll build a successful company. This is kind of how we treat all the employees. I mean, if, if you work hard and, and, and try, you're going to succeed at Water Right. We like to play with things. We're a bunch of MacGyvers, and there's always a better way or a new way to do something. It makes it, it, makes it fun, and it's not only just the family. Uh, there's been great ideas from employees, so it's kind of built in the culture of the company. I just can't believe how far this business has come and how well it's come far. There's going to be a shift in how water is used in the United States, what kind of water is delivered to the home versus industry, and somebody's going to have to clean that water up. I have never seen more challenges in the water business than we have today. You're not always going to hit the challenge. We fail as much as we succeed, but at least we're trying. And once you met a challenge, that really lights a fire. It's just begun.